Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the last lap of uh, Malware Home Lab series. This is the third video. In this video, we are going to look at uh, when we execute the malware in lab environment, what sort of traffic that malware is generating and what sort of IPs that malware is trying to communicate, some uh, dark web or onion sites, as well as the um, clear net sites, clear net IPs. So, this is very basic example. This is very basic demonstration. So this is not really analyzed in the malware. This is just basically capturing the um, which traffic, especially TCP traffic, HTTP, um, that sort of traffic analyzation. So for this, I'm going to use Remnox. It is my um, Linux VM, as well as I'm going to use the Flare VM for this one. We already set up Flare VM and the Remnux in our previous videos. So let's see how we can use these two VMs to demonstrate this one. In the Remnux, I'm using a special tool which is called iNetSim. It's a fake internet, I can say. It's a fake server, fake DNS server. Because uh, for this example, our Flare VM is the victim. So I'm going to execute some ransomware sample inside the Flare VM. And it will communicate to the Remnux VM. The malware will be think of oh, Remnux is the internet and it send the request to the Remnux and inet sim will manage all the request so it is very simple inet sim already inbuilt with the remnux so you don't have to worry about installation of the inet sim but you have to configure few things inside the inet sim because default those things are disabled i will show you how we can do that so these are the four steps that we need to do first we need to find the inet sim configuration file and there are some dns services those are disabled so we have to enable those services and add some ip addresses so this is very simple we can do it instantly i'm using si text editor for this so this is my command sudo si which is my text editor and i'm navigating to this direct directory etc inet sim and inetsim.conf this is the uh, inetsim configuration file I will get a little bit bigger this one, which is easier for you to have a look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check those configuration. Actually, I already configured these ones, but I can show you. So here are the services. If you want any other service, you can simply remove this hash and you can enable that service. By default, this DNS service it was like this so you can simply remove this hash and you can enable the dns service which means step number two so you can do that easily and when you scroll down in here the service bind address you have to type 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 which means it will allow all the addresses that is the um 0, .0, .0, .0 means by default it's commented like with the hash like this so you have to uncomment and add this 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0 here so this is our third step as per the notepad and when you go down you can see default dns configurations default host name and stuff so oh sorry this one default dns ip so you have to uncomment this ip and you have to enter your remnux ip address which means remnux vm ip address i can show you this so this is my remnux vm and if i see if config this is the ip address of my remnux vm you have to add that ip address your ip address in here and make sure to uncomment this which means remove the hash and it is done then you can save the file and that job is done so it's simple you can do it and 
what you have to do is you have to run inet sim now sudo inet sim yep as you can see now it will start the services you can see the simulation services running now i uh, will get a little bit bigger this one see it's running dns servers pop service ftp http blah 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 a lot of services so you can test this it's very simple you can take the browser in your flare vm and you can type the remnux ip address 192.168.200.200 so you can see this is html default page for inet sim which means the inet sim is acting as our dns server we can say it's our fake internet for this simulation so that's how we are going to do so it's it's configured now what we have to do is we need to open the wireshark from here because i'm going to capture all the packets all the traffic which is coming to the remnux from the flare vm which means my victim vm i'm going to capture this interface so you can see still i mean initially some traffic is coming to this one we can check that one if you ping you can see lmp is coming which means it's working the connection in between remnox and the flare vm is uh, working fine that's how we can configure those ones okay now the best part so what we are going to do in here is we are going to execute malware sample i have already downloaded two malwares one is WannaCry. Actually, this is ransomware, and the other one is Tesla Crypt. So, in this example, I'm going to use the Tesla Crypt. I'm going to run this inside this VM and capture the traffic from the Remnux VM. So, that's the idea. But before you do that, please make sure you disable the um, NAT adapter if you have one. I'm just connecting these two we are using only the host adapter which means it did not affect to my host laptop which means my um, host pc so please make sure please remember you do that otherwise that malware can be infected to your host except the vm so please be mindful of that yep i'm good to go what i'm going to do is i'm going to extract this oh maybe i have to disable my antivirus guard i'm not sure we'll say okay these are the sample files you can see uh i will going to rename these two as exe and this one also as E, sorry, D, e, exe. Just this two. Uh, maybe I'm going to execute this one. But before I do that, I'm going to run the uh, process explorer, which is um, from Microsoft. And I can see what process going on. Maybe I can see this process name as well as see the process monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to monitor the malware process using its name i uh, will take this name just simply copy and doing a filter process name is this one and i'm going to add that and apply okay we don't have process yet because we haven't executed this one yet but before that i'm going to add those two process names it's very simple okay so we are ready to go what i'm going to do is reset this one from here still i don't know what it's traffic it's some icmp traffic still talking to um remnox vm i'm not sure what is that but that's fine okay this is the best, best, best part. We are going to execute 
our ransomware inside the Flavia. Let's go ahead and start one, two, three. Okay. We are running, as you can see in our process monitor, you can see a lot of process. It's now it's running the malware. It's running the ransomware, which is interesting. I'm going to run this one too. Okay. You can see the traffic is coming to our Remnax VM. It's getting increased. Okay. What are the processes available? Can't see process. Actually, it slow down my VM. Yeah, you can see uh, the processing in my Flare VM. The processing is going high, really slow now. So this is the uh, malware behavior. Oh yeah, but traffic is coming to Flare VM. As you can see, we'll see what will happen. My IO getting increased, processing getting increased. So some process going on this. If we filter only the network traffic, we can't see any network traffic. I'm not sure why. Oh, this is the process. In the process explorer, you can see the process. It's with the process ID 3664. It's running under that process ID. Yep, it's doing something in the background, maybe um, creating these DLL files, doing buffer overflow. I have no idea with these ones, to be honest, because I'm not expertise with the malware analysis, but in general, you can see what's going on. This is what happened inside, and you can see a lot of packets coming through. We'll wait and see what it is doing to our VM. So far, all good. Looks like everything working fine. I do have some scripts. They're there. Haven't encrypted yet my text files, which is good. We'll see how long will it take to encrypt all the things. Maybe I can execute this one as well, just for fun. I don't know what will happen, but we'll see. I want to encrypt my whole VM and generate as much as traffic I can. Oh, bingo, bingo. Oh, we got encrypted our VM, which is good. Okay, this is the Tesla crypt. As you can see, I didn't do anything. It it done by itself. You can see some uh, websites over here and some uh, websites over here and addresses for onion side. Maybe we can do the check payment. Nothing happened. Oh yeah, it's opening file. It's showing the encrypted files like this. Yep, all files like json.txt, the encrypted file list. Interesting. And oh, there's a Bitcoin address. We can copy this. We'll see what's the address. Yep, this is the Bitcoin address. Use your Bitcoin address to enter this site. Okay. This is the site and this is the address. Interesting. And there's an image. Oh, it is saying your document for those database and important file has been encrypted with the strongest encrypted and unique key generated for this computer. Okay. Oh, uh, we can see some URLs over here as well. Okay, which means our purpose is done we could able to encrypt this flare vm and we can see the um urls over here okay i'm going to stop my capture and i will maximize this and now i'm going to check what sort of websites or what sort of traffic 
what sort of url we can capture from the wireshark maybe i can filter from dns or else maybe or else maybe i can um, check the inet sim log file first before i analyze the uh, wireshark traffic for that i'm navigating to this path wa log inet sim as you can see and uh when you do the ls you can see service dot log main dot log and debug i'm going to extract the service log like this in here you can see the request and responses i mean dns tcp all the traffic we have seen some onion sites bitcoin sites in the encrypted vm what i'm going to do is i'm going to search them if we can found any oh yep we found this one and then dot cap this is one query which means the flare vm is trying to access this is one website and we have seen some yeah this is a oh yeah it's the same one same one we have seen some bitcoin do we have bitcoin yep another bitcoin site trying to access with this trying to connect interesting yeah likewise you can uh, analyze the traffic analyze the log file in the inet sim as well as you can use the wireshark packet capture to analyze the file so this is take time i'm not going to show you like how you can go through and analyze each and every query because it's time consuming but this is the basic idea this is how you can do this maybe you can perform this in your own lab and you can test this this is best play, place to start the malware analysis so that would be good i hope you guys learn something from here if you have any questions anything please leave a comment down below catch you guys in next video thank you